Sorry, this video makes me really hungry. Day, day, day. I've already shared the curly hair products, supplements, and techniques that I use to grow my hair from here all the way down to here. But today might be the most important video of all. This video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys all about the foods that I eat in abundance that have helped me grow my hair faster than it has ever grown in my entire life. I put a lot of effort into my diet because it directly affects my energy levels, my skin, my body composition, pretty much everything. So it's no surprise that what you eat affects how fast your hair grows. The foods that I'm gonna share with you in this video are foods that I eat almost every single day in abundance. And when I looked up their nutritional content, it's no surprise that they contain loads of nutrients that are amazing for hair growth. That being said, you don't have to eat exactly the way I do. I encourage you to experiment and find out what you like, what you enjoy to eat, because if you don't like eating something, you're not gonna eat a lot of it. You're not gonna eat it every single day. You're more likely to eat the foods that you enjoy. I started using flax seeds for the first time six years ago when I was trying to get really fit. I read that eating a lot of fiber would help keep me fuller longer and help me tone down for my trip to Cuba. I really wanted a six pack. So uh, the first time that I used flax seeds, I didn't really know how much to use. So I used like half a cup and let me just say that it was a very bad idea. I was running to the bathroom like within a half an hour. <laughs> So if it's your first time using flax seeds, start small and work your way up to more as you go. Flax seeds are packed with essential omega-3 fatty acids, which means that your body can't produce them on its own, so you have to get them from either food or supplements. Omega-3 fatty acids help to protect your body against disease, but they are also crucial for hair growth and keeping your hair growing shiny and healthy. I have gone through periods where I stopped taking flax seeds, uh, but since I've been taking them almost daily, about two tablespoons daily for the past six months, I've noticed a huge difference in my skin and how clear it is and in how thick and shiny my new growth has been. Um, so what I like to do is I like to grind the flax seeds myself because I have a pretty good blender. Uh, but if you have a good blender or a food processor, this should work quite well for you. If you don't, you can buy them pre-ground from the grocery store. Um, if, when you do grind them at home, make sure to put them in the refrigerator because they can go rancid pretty easily because of the type of oil that they are. Um, but if you do get them from the grocery store, don't get too much because you don't want it sitting in your fridge getting gross. So buy what you need, use it, and then get more. Avocados and I have had a off and on relationship for a very long time. Whenever I'm eating them regularly, I always feel like my skin is so much softer and is so much more hydrated and moisturized. I really do love the effects that avocados have on my body, but I didn't always love avocados. I was first introduced to avocados when I was about five years old. My mom used to eat avocados every single day with crackers and my mom has the most beautiful, vibrant, glowing skin and such nice hair and that I just wanted to be just like her when I was little. And I'm like, if my mom's eating those and she's beautiful and has nice skin and hair, then I'm gonna do it too. So for a long time, I pretended like I liked avocados when I didn't, I didn't really. Uh, it wasn't until I was an adult that I had avocados at a Caribbean restaurant um, that I felt like I loved avocados for the very first time. And I thought like, why did I just like avocados all this time? Like, this is delicious. <laughs> so I was going crazy for this uh, Caribbean food with the avocado on the side because it was just like the most perfect fresh avocado. And every time I tried to get an avocado on my own at the grocery store, it always like tasted nasty and like had a weird consistency and like that nasty minty flavor. If you've had a bad avocado, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but eventually like it was getting too expensive to eat at this Jamaican restaurant all the time. So I eventually just stopped eating there and stopped eating avocados altogether. And it wasn't until quite recently, actually within the last six months that I've had access to very good avocados. So I've been eating them very regularly and I love it. It's delicious. I'm glad I gave avocados another chance because I was onto something as a child. It turns out that avocados are really healthy for your hair and your skin. They contain loads of B vitamins and vitamin E, which are necessary for hair growth, helps to fortify your hair at the cellular level to prevent hair loss. And on top of that, they contain monounsaturated fats, which are amazing for keeping your skin soft and smooth. Bonus. I personally can only eat avocados if they're mixed in with something else. I guess I actually don't truly love avocados because I can't eat them by themselves. 
so I tend to have them as a side or on sandwiches. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want a video on specific recipes. I think I want to do that soon so you can subscribe to see those. Kale and collards or leafy greens in general. Over the past six months, I have been smashing in the greens, like more greens than I've ever eaten in my entire life. And I found the secret, at least for me, in to eating greens. I don't like salads. Like I realized I don't like eating raw vegetables. So what I've been doing, I've been steaming all of my greens in a pressure cooker and I can eat so much more than if I ate it in a salad. It's all nice and soft and gooey and just melts in your mouth. I don't know, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to eating and I, if I have to chew it too much, like I just don't want to. And we all know how healthy leafy greens are and they're very great for hair growth. Greens contain tons of vitamin A, vitamin C, folate, iron, and beta carotene, which are amazing for hair growth. They help to keep your scalp moisturized and healthy so that your hair does not fall out and break. These nutrients work together to give you a healthy scalp and healthy hair. I eat about two cups of cooked kale or collards. This is quite a bit. So if greens are new to you, I would say to work your way up to eating more because if you eat too much at once, it could give you a lot of gas and cramping. So you don't want that. Start off slow, see how it works with you and then build up from there. Sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. There's so many different ways to cook them. You can have them for breakfast, lunch or dinner and I eat them many times a week. They are filled with beta carotene, which converts into vitamin A, which helps protect your hair against dullness and dryness. Vitamin A is also crucially important for sebum production, which is very important for having healthy skin and a healthy scalp. If you don't have enough sebum, your hair is going to be dry, more prone to breakage and fallout. Sweet potato, like I said, is super versatile. There's so many different ways to make it, so many different times a day you can have it. I personally love having it steamed and mixed into a nice curry, or it's nice in the oven, it like caramelizes on top, and like you can put some like maple syrup on top. It's just yeah, I'm getting really hungry thinking about this. Pumpkin seeds. I became obsessed with pumpkin seeds when I was about 14 years old. I read that pumpkin seeds were extraordinarily beneficial for acne prone skin and my skin was really suffering at the time. And it's something that I've never forgotten. And to this day, I love pumpkin seeds. And I've been eating them religiously every single day this past six months, like twice a day. I've been having like small handfuls pretty much on anything I can put them on. I put them on cereal, smoothie bowls. I'll even sometimes put them on a salad if I'm having like a warm salad, pretty much on anything. And it turns out I was onto something. Um, <laughs> pumpkin seeds contain loads of zinc and zinc is incredibly important for hair growth and if you don't get enough you can have tons of fallout even in your eyelashes and that is something that i've noticed as well like this past six months my eyelashes and my eyebrows have been growing in so thick and luscious and the pumpkin seeds they have my back broccoli mom and dad were right they wanted you to eat your broccoli broccoli is really really good for you and i have been eating loads of it over the past six months and like i said i don't eat a lot of my greens raw because raw greens too much chewing not enough digesting so i steam my broccoli always and i have about two cups of broccoli a few times a week broccoli contains iron and iron is incredibly important for getting enough nutrient-rich blood to your scalp and helping you to grow healthy strong hair not having enough iron can lead to anemia, which can lead to hair loss. Uh, having enough oxygen and blood flow to your scalp is incredibly important for hair growth and hair retention. I recently found out that the base of the broccoli, you know, like the thick juicy part that you usually would throw away, at least I would throw away, is actually edible and quite good for you. Um, my dad told me about this and I didn't want to believe it, but he was right. And I know sometimes like we don't want to listen to our parents, but sometimes they have some really nice juicy tidbits of information. So thank you, dad, if you're watching this for the broccoli tip. Strawberries and blueberries. I eat strawberries and blueberries pretty much every day, sometimes together, sometimes separate, sometimes with other things, but I'm going to have one or the other every single day. The berries and fruits in general are loaded with vitamin C and vitamin C is so important for your hair. Um, 
if you don't have enough vitamin C in your diet, your hair can get really dry and start to split and fall out. So it's really, really important to make sure that you're getting enough fruits and vegetables in your diet daily. I know we always hear this from our parents, from our teachers, from everyone, how important uh, vitamin C and fruits are, but they really are. And I notice a huge difference when I'm eating a lot of fruits in my diet. In my skin in particular, it's so much clearer, so much more vibrant and healthy. And this past six months, I've been really focused on getting enough fruit into my diet and I've noticed a huge difference. Even if you can just start adding a little bit of fruit, make smoothies, add it to your cereal, snack on it, you'll notice a huge difference in your skin and in the health of your hair over time. Water. Water is so important for pretty much every function in your body, including your hair growth. When you don't get enough water in your diet, your hair growing in may become dry and brittle, prone to breakage and fallout. Um, in order for your cells to do their job and grow and replicate, you need to have adequate water. A large portion of our body is made of water and if you're not replenishing the supply, it puts a lot of stress on your body. I've talked about this in other videos, but in your body's list of priorities, your hair is very low on that level. So if there's something missing from your body, especially something as crucial as water, your hair is going to be the first place to suffer, your hair and your skin. Uh, for me personally, when I'm not getting enough water, my skin gets very dry and I start to break out like crazy. Um, before the six month period when my hair started growing a lot, I had been drinking pretty much no water. Like all of my liquids were either coming from juice or smoothies. Like I had just forgotten about water altogether and my skin was looking really, really rough. So I decided I was going to start increasing my water intake. I increased it from pretty much nothing to two liters to eventually four liters. Four liters is a lot of water. Um, I don't necessarily recommend um, that you drink four liters a day. I don't think it's really necessary. But when I was drinking a lot of water, I noticed that my skin was so much clearer. And in that time, um, I've realized for myself that the most optimal amount of water for myself personally is about two liters a day. And since I've been keeping up with that, I noticed a huge difference in my hair and in my skin in particular. So if you're having a lot of problems with um, acne um, in particular, uh, drinking more water is definitely something that is going to help you out because that is something that I've noticed every single time. If I'm having problems with my skin and just adding more water into my diet, I notice a change within just a few days. So I can't stress it enough. Make sure you're hydrated, but don't go too crazy with the water. Like you don't want to be, you don't want to be drinking too much at a time. Um, maybe start off slow. That's what I did. So when I wasn't drinking enough water, I started adding it slowly back into my diet and to eventually increase to a lot of water and then dropped it again. Um, when you start drinking a lot of water, first you'll notice that you're going to the bathroom a lot because your body isn't used to drinking that much water, but this kind of goes away over time, at least it did for me. So if there's something that you can do today, that is, if there's anything that you can take away from this video is, get some water. Pause the video before you go on to your next video and get a glass of water and just like drink it while you do other things. Um, carry a water bottle around with you. It'll just kind of remind you to keep drinking. And get a water bottle that you like, you know, one that's pretty, one that like makes you feel happy when you drink it. The happier and the bigger the bottle I find, the more water that you drink. Let me know in the comments below, what else would you like to see from the Hair Growth series? I can do a video on specific things that I eat in a day, sample meals. So let me know if you wanna see that and subscribe for more curly hair videos. I will see you next time, bye. Mwah.